Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Today I'll be building this cardboard sheath for my longsword. Enjoy. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is lay out your weapon on a long piece of cardboard. I have this chainsaw box that the chainsaw came in. And um, you can always use, use sections of cardboard and line them up next to each other and just glue them together like that. But because I have this box, I'm just gonna take advantage of it. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is just trace out the sword just like so and notice how the lines are way bigger than the sword itself so when you sandwich the two pieces together uh you'll have some overhang so you can pinch them at the edges and tape or glue them together so what you're going to want to do next is just do it again so you have two pieces total whenever you have your two identical pieces cut out put the sword on top of one and then the other one right on top like that and then what you're going to want to do is bend it downward into place just to you know relieve it from the stress marks it's going to have see how it's very form-fitting just like so and if you still end up being slightly too short like mine is what I'm going to do is put a strip of Gorilla Tape you can use duct tape if you want I'm just using Gorilla Tape because I have a lot of it you grab the other side and put it down the same exact way making sure it's evenly lined up and the point of the tape is not only to close it, but I made sure that there's a tiny little gap. So when I put down another strip, it increases the width. So when I close it over and do the same exact thing on the other side, it gives it a little bit more width so I can fit the sword in the sheath. And as you can see, I did the same thing on both sides of the sheath. So if I were to remove the sword like that, you can see that it's like flexible and the tape is what is pretty much the edges. And then out of a thin strip of cardboard, I made this ring right around the rim where the sword goes in. This is what it looks like so far. So then I masked off all the Gorilla Tape edges, but before I made the Gorilla Tape edges uh, even with each other, because I like the way they look. And then I'm gonna use this so I can paint this. And I mixed together a bunch of colors to make this gray. And then I'm just going to color this whole cardboard spot right here. And then I'll take the mask and tape off, even this lip right here. All right, I'll have to fix that right there. But on the other side, it's pretty clean. I like that. So I'm going to want to be able to mount this uh, sheathing to my armor, of course. So I have these two um, brackets I just made out of three layers of cardboard. And that's a very simple shape, simple enough that I don't really need to explain it. And I sealed the edges with hot glue. And what I'm going to do is depending on whatever angle I want it to be at, I'm going to glue one there and one there. And then I'm going to hook these Velcro slash elastic straps through the loops I've created right here. And these, you can adjust them because they're Velcro and then there's like a buckle right there. Uh, you can just use any kind of strap. In fact, you can use duct tape. I'm just using these because I have them. I got them at Walmart for like three bucks each. And um, I have the luxury of using them. I can adjust them as well because of the straps, so. And this is what it looks like being used. It's a very useful tool to have on when you want to free up your hands. So yeah, that's how it's done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like these builds that I do, like and subscribe for more videos.